I was a very ordinary student back then. My academic performance was not bad, but not very good either. Definitely, I was not the top student in my class, especially when I was in primary school uh, and secondary school. Average, I rank about uh, 20 to 30 annually lah, in my class. All this while, my dream is to become a doctor. But my financial background is not able to support for uh, private medical study. So at one point, I think it was around my SPM time, I told myself, if I want to make my dream come true, I have to make a change. The first change that I made was in my study technique. Once I adapted and adopted the new study technique, I was able to make tremendous improvements in my academic performance. When I was doing my uh, Form 6, I was able to top my class and get full flat for my STPM exam. This was able to secure me a medical seat in University Putra, Malaysia, which is a Malaysian government university for uh, the degree of Doctor of Medicine. And throughout my medical study, I was fortunate enough that I got distinction for professional one exam, top 10 for professional two exam, and in my final year of medical study, I uh, got the best in terms of overall medical student and was awarded a gold medal by the Malaysian Medical Association. In the same year, I also got the best for psychiatry posting and senior orthopedic posting. Sometimes, I have students approach me and ask, Sir, I am also studying very hard, but why is my academic performance not improving? Some people choose to sit in front of their decks and reread the text as many times as possible. They believe that by rereading as many times as possible, they are going to absorb the information in the textbooks. Some students choose to highlight or underline the whole text. Obviously, different people have different study techniques and different preferences. But uh, for me, all the methods that I mentioned earlier were not effective. I am Dr. Stephen Lee. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the one of the study methods that I use to improve my grades as well as changing my life and it is also evidence-based so without further ado let's get started one of the study techniques that I applied is called active learning a lot of research papers have proven that this method is highly effective. Let's take for example, this paper, which was published in year 2014, has proven that active learning is showing efficacy and effectiveness in terms of study in science, engineering, and mathematics. So, what exactly is active learning? Active learning means I have to constantly test myself, I have to constantly practice all the time. One example that I normally use is blood taking. As you know, a blood taking is a very basic skill that all healthcare professionals should know. But it is actually not simple to find the veins, especially for beginners like us. And when we are facing patients who are obese or elderly patients or patients with kidney problems, it's not very easy. So we can actually choose to go on to YouTube and learn about the techniques on how to do the blood taking skills. But trust me, no matter how many videos you watch, no matter how many articles you read, the best way to learn is to approach the patients and practice on them. This applies to study as well. For example, some students who are not very good in additional mathematics, they choose to study by reading solutions, which are already worked out for them. They thought that by reading solutions, they are able to solve the questions by themselves. 
But when they are facing the real exam questions, they found that they are not able to solve the questions. You see, these are some real life examples revolving around active learning. See, when I was preparing for major examinations like STPM or my professional exams, I am constantly doing questions every single day. Okay, I solve questions without opening the textbooks. What I normally do is I will pay attention in class. Afterwards, I will try to solve the questions without opening the textbooks or any references. And through making mistakes, I learn the best. However, some students find it discouraging to solve questions, especially difficult questions, because they tend to make mistakes when they are solving these kind of questions. You see, this is normal human psychology. No one likes to make mistakes. We tend to do things that we are good at, right? Some students, take for example, they like physics and they dislike biology, all right? So what happens is they'll spend most of their time to do physics questions instead of biology questions. So in exam, it is kind of impossible for that person to score good grades in biology. So it is very important for you to understand that every human makes mistake. Most importantly is we progress from the mistake, we learn from the mistake, and we don't repeat the mistake again next time. So trust me, learning from mistake is the best way to learn and every mistake is an opportunity for you to learn something. So remember, you either win or learn. So remember, embrace your mistakes and step out of your comfort zone. Besides solving question banks, uh, before major exams, I would also uh, practice this habit in which I would uh, take out a piece of blank paper and I would write down all the concepts regarding that topic even without opening the textbooks, okay? After I wrote down all the concepts that I remembered, I will open up the textbook and uh, compare with the reference, okay? And uh, I will see how many mistakes or how many points I missed. And I will use another color, maybe a red pen right at the side. So these are the points that I couldn't recall and these are the points that I have to pay more attention next time. Another thing is uh, when I want to practice a soft skill, let's say I want to practice a physical examination skill with patients, or let's say I want to practice a communication skills, I will normally get out to the hospital, finding real patients and practice on them. I think active learning is something that has transformed my life and my approach in learning as well as teaching. When I was teaching my students, uh, my students would notice that I normally ask questions and I want my students to answer. The reason is because when they make mistakes, of course, sometimes I will be a little bit angry, but this can serve as a motivation for them to learn, especially from mistakes. And that's the reason why I can create 85% A rate uh, for my students. So from today onwards, try to adopt a more active learning, switch from a passive learning style to a more active learning style. Pick up responsibilities, step out of comfort zone. I am Dr. Stephen Lee. If you enjoy my videos, do subscribe to my channel and I'll be posting more of uh, study technique related videos in my channel. Thank you. I'll see you again.